That looks good. Oh, oh, oh. Um, it's, uh, maybe you could add a little more pepper? No, no, no more salt. Dear Tim and Moby, how did Thanksgiving begin? From Margot. Well, you've probably heard of the pilgrims. They were settlers from England who came to the New World seeking religious and economic freedom. Their ship, the Mayflower, landed in Plymouth, Massachusetts in 1620. That's right. An American Indian tribe called the Wampanoag already lived there. They'd long since settled much of what is now Rhode Island and Massachusetts, including Plymouth. Right, so when the Pilgrims landed in the Mayflower, they were in Wampanoag territory. The Pilgrims were unprepared for the American wilderness, and they had a pretty rough time. Many of them died during that first year in the New World. The seeds they brought from England wouldn't grow in American soil, and the Pilgrims really didn't know how to hunt and fish the land. An English-speaking Wampanoag named Squanto decided to help the pilgrims and teach them how to survive. He and his people pointed out medicinal plants, showed them how to build houses called wigwams, and taught them how to catch fish. He also taught them how to plant corn and other new vegetables, using fish for fertilizer. By the time fall rolled around, the pilgrims were doing much better, thanks to the Wampanoags. They held a feast to celebrate their good fortune. Right. Thanksgiving was not an entirely new concept for the Pilgrims or the Indians. The Pilgrims had held an annual Thanksgiving feast in November that was a religious holiday. The American Indians actually held several harvest festivals throughout the year. But this was the first Thanksgiving celebration that they had together. It happened sometime between September 21st and November 11th, 1621. Members of the Plymouth Colony were preparing for their feast to celebrate the autumn harvest. The Wampanoag chief, Massasoit, his wife, and 90 men decided to pay a visit to the colony. Captain Miles Standish, the leader of the Pilgrims, invited the visitors to join them for the Thanksgiving celebration. The Pilgrims weren't quite prepared for 90 extra guests. Massasoit sent his men to hunt for more food so everybody could eat. Yes, they were good house guests. They ate things like duck, goose, deer, lobster, wild turkey, fish, beans, squash, corn soup, cornbread, and berries. That first Thanksgiving lasted three whole days. Two groups of people with little in common came together and formed a peace and friendship agreement. Part of that agreement allowed the pilgrims to build their new town of Plymouth. Sadly, the friendship didn't last forever. As new settlers came to America, they didn't need as much help as the pilgrims did. The language, cultural, and religious differences between the two peoples were pretty major, and the two groups began to distrust one another. Eventually, the European settlers forced most American Indians off their lands. There are still some Wampanoag people living in Massachusetts. Not that that makes up for anything. Hmm. Today, many Americans carry on the tradition of Thanksgiving with a dinner to symbolize how much we all have to be thankful for. And also, to remember that first Thanksgiving, when the spirit of goodwill and cooperation helped bring two very different groups of people together at one dinner table. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>